Recently, I bought this CPU from a junkyard and it cost 1500 rupees on Amazon and also in offline stores. So before wasting any time, let's push this CPU to its limit. So this video is divided into 4 parts. Number 1 is benchmarking of this CPU. Number 2 is gaming test. So can this processor handle GTFI? Let's check it. And number 3 is video editing and photoshop test on this processor. And number 4 is the final verdict and should you really buy this processor. So I'll tell you everything about this processor right now in this video. So this CPU is Intel i5-3470. Yes, it's Intel i5 3rd gen. I'm a bit skeptical because the CPU has D written on it. So I don't know, maybe it's dead. So what we'll do, we'll arrange a motherboard for the CPU and then we'll check this CPU. So the strange thing is, the CPU has written Costa Rica on it. So was this really manufactured in Costa Rica? Experts, please let me know in the comments. So this build contains i5-3470 processor, 8GB DDR3 RAM, 256 GB SSD and 450 watt power supply. So we ran multiple benchmarking softwares on this processor and here are the results. And unfortunately Cinebench did not run on this processor. So I tried multiple times but still it was giving clear error message. Firstly, we tested this processor in day-to-day -day activities like watching YouTube videos, browsing, opening multiple tabs and doing some basic multitasking and guess what? this processor handled well. So there were no issues with that one and also we tried some basic multitasking. So you can easily do basic multitasking on this processor. So there were no issues with that one. So I tried to play 4K 60fps video on this processor. This processor did not handle 4K 60fps. Basically the video was dropping lot of frames. The best thing this processor can do is it can run 1080p 60fps or 2K 60fps videos without dropping any frames. 4K so don't expect uh, watching YouTube videos with 4K resolution. You cannot watch it guys. So yes, I tried Google Docs, Google Slides and other programs which are highly used in corporates and also in education sector. You can easily create PPTs, Google Docs and other stuff. So this processor can easily handle all these lightweight works. So I tried every gamer's favorite game, GTA 5 on this processor and so we ran GTA 5 on this processor in 900p and 720p settings and the FPS was not good at all guys. Basically, we were getting FPS under 20, so 16, 17, 18 FPS in 720p and 900p resolution, which is too bad. So if you are comfortable playing GTA 5 in 16, 17, 18 FPS, then this processor is your first choice. You should definitely go with this processor. So after playing GTA 5 on this processor, my expectation went from here to here to very low state. So for the sake of video, I tested Forza Horizon 5 on this processor. So the game didn't even load and the game crashed. So I tried multiple times. The processor was not able to run the game. So this processor was outputting 1 FPS in Forza Horizon 5. And also it won't even load to the game. It just crashes in between the loading screen. Sad. Okay, so now let's talk about video editing and content creation. So I tried 2022 Photoshop on this processor. And yes, it handled well. So Photoshop, I could easily able to edit five to six layers. And yes, I edited this video's thumbnail on this processor. You can do basic photo editing and light color grading on this processor. And one more thing I noticed is lots of screen tearing problems. I don't know why the screen was tearing a lot when I was zooming in and zooming out in Photoshop. Basically the overall user experience was bad because of that. You can edit photos on this processor. So which is kind of appreciating because 12 years old processor and this can handle Photoshop 2022. So we also tried Premiere Pro on this processor. Premiere Pro did not run at all. So clearly it gave some error message. So I think Premiere Pro is not compatible with this processor. And also I tried DaVinci Resolve after trying Premiere Pro and I was not having any expectation. But still I tried. So the same thing, DaVinci Resolve did not run at all. And the message says outdated graphics driver. But the computer is running the latest graphics driver. Maybe the processor is not compatible with the DaVinci Resolve. Conclusion, should you buy this processor in 2025? So my answer will be yes and no. So if you are primarily using your computer for browsing, watching YouTube videos, entertainment purpose, 
old school gaming or doing college or office work then yes you can easily do on this processor yes this processor can handle all of these tasks easily and efficiently but if you are considering this processor for video editing photoshop or high-end gaming no my answer will be no because even if you upgrade to a dedicated graphic card you cannot run any of these programs on this processor so for all the lightweight and basic tasks you can definitely go with this processor and my suggestion is to go with i7 third gen instead of i5 third gen like if you have some extra money in your bank account then you should definitely go with i7 third gen like that is significantly better than i5 third gen so that is my recommendation so if you want a gaming processor under 13,000 rupees then watch the video on the right and if you want a good gaming controller then watch the video on the left Bye yo, bye. Yo, microphone check, make it a microphone check, give it a microphone, I make the make it a microphone dance.